Christmas here as well as barbecue season. I'm so happy Andrea Donsky mm. is back. You're going yes. to teach us some tricks on how we can really enjoy an outdoor barbecue and yes. have it be healthy. Yes, the key is really, you know me, keeping it healthy. We're going to start with the cocktails because as we welcome everybody to our barbecue, we like to have healthy cocktail options. But some of the cocktails at the store, like coolers in particular, can have artificial flavors or artificial colors. And lots of sugar. And lots of sugar. So really what I say is, why don't you just make your own? Yeah. And the best way to do that is take some vodka or take some rum, add it to a cold pressed organic juice so that you get your vitamins, you get your minerals and your antioxidants in the juice that you're drinking. Win-win. And I have How a beautiful cute. juice for you. And then what you could do also is, this is from Revitasize, they also make a charcoal lemonade that if you're not feeling so good from the side effects of alcohol, it'll actually help you feel better. Okay, so when you see this, you're like, excuse me, charcoal? How, why am I ingesting charcoal? It's an activated charcoal and you want to look for a brand that has a good quality. So Revitasize has a great quality charcoal lemonade and it helps to just pull things out of your body. You so said you do this once a week even if you feel I like do. you have a bit of a like a bug if you eat some bad food or something. I do. I love their charcoal lemonade and it tastes amazing. I know it sounds terrible but yeah. it tastes amazing. And good for hangovers. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> now all of these herbs keep away the bugs. They do. So this is my little tip. So it, you know everyone's coming and there's a lot of bugs at this time of the year. So why not throw your bug spray and herbs that bugs don't really like like basil and rosemary into a beautiful basket that everybody to have that's accessible for everybody right bathe and basil bathe and basil the bugs don't like it or if you want a store-bought mm. option dr mercola makes a bug spray that has essential oils like lemongrass and citronella and peppermint that help keep the bugs away and what's so without amazing the about deet. it without the deet which is so important here i want you to smell it how Why amazing like it deet? smells Mm, so gosh. the key is, is you want to look for a brand like this that has, it basically it's safe for kids, it's safe for adults and safe for pets. Okay. And the deed you want to use when you're going into the deep woods and it's, you know, it, there's been some studies that show it, it's not great for our, our, our um, nervous system. Okay. So that's why, you know, just stay sparingly, away you sparingly, sparingly, sparingly. Snacks, exactly. you need to have snacks. How do you make it healthy? All right. So this is the key. Everybody's hungry when they're coming to your barbecue. k Pasa makes a great organic tortilla chip. Okay. And what I love about it is, first of all, it's non-GMO, no organic, so it's organic, so there's no pesticides. They have a salsa, so it kind of comes a little combo. But look at the beautiful colors that it has. So it looks like there's a nice variety. Mm -hmm. They've got red, they've got blue, they've got yellow corn. And there's beets in there and lime. There's nothing you can't pronounce on the ingredients list. Exactly. So keeping it clean, which we love to do. The other thing you can do is you can create your own party mix. So, for example, if you're like me, Dina, we have so many <laughs> half-eaten bags in our cupboard yep. that my kids never get to finish. So basically what you do is take them, mix them into a bowl, and look how great this party mix is. Little sweet, little salty. Popcorn, some chocolate-covered pretzels. Yeah. You've got a, like a mix of crunch yep. and all healthy. All healthy. Now this is a nice little spin on how to serve up those barbecue eats, but again, make them great and healthy for you. Exactly. So the key when it comes to any type of meat is we want to stay away from hormones and antibiotics. Okay. That's the key. And when it comes to hot dogs, especially when we're giving it to our kids, they can have mystery meat. So we don't know what's inside our hot dogs, right? So this is Life Choices. And what they do is they make grass-fed beef. They, they sell grass-fed beef. And what that means is that the cows are fed grass. And you say that is what you use often because organic is so much more expensive, but this is great. This is great, exactly. This is a great alternative to organic. They don't have the hormones or the antibiotics in their, in their hamburgers or hot dogs, and you understand every single thing. Yeah. And what's great about grass-fed as well is it's higher in omega-3s, good for your hair, good for your skin, good for your eyes. Healthy fats. And you exactly. used a whole grain bun with sesame. I did. This is a sprouted one. This was an, They're all with unbleached flour. And I use cabbage leaves to wrap my hot dogs. So if you're oh. trying to avoid any type of carbs, wrapping it in a cabbage leaf is a great option. Cabbage or lettuce? Cabbage or yeah. lettuce, whatever you want sure. to use to wrap. This smells divine. This is your own sauce. This is. So, I mean, many of us, when we're making a barbecue, we opt for barbecue sauce. But they can have artificial ingredients. Yep. So instead, why not make your own? This is literally so easy to do. You add in some tamari. Okay. Now, this is Sanji's tamari, which is gluten-free. That's why I love it. You can get it anywhere. You can get it anywhere. And what you can do is you can add in a little bit of garlic, add in some ginger, which is amazing. So fresh and lovely. This is blood orange. Look how gorgeous oh, that wow. color is. It gives it a little bit of a citrus. And then you've also got some honey and some sesame oil. Did so you squeeze the blood orange juice yourself? I did. I squeezed it nice. myself. <laughs> and you can see how beautiful they are. So this is what it looks like in the end. You can smell how amazing it smells. That smells really, really and good. And I love Sanji too, because they have a whole line of Asian cooking sauces. Mm. So isn't that amazing? And you keep the bugs out with that little lid. Where did you get that contraption? I got it. I think it was Bed Bath & Beyond. I love That's it. That's where I got it. Uh, most precious little condiment stand in the world. I want to sit with the mustard so and the ketchup in this little umbrella, like precious. <laughs> this okay. is adorable. I mean, I, I love looking for fun things. The key when it comes to condiments is we don't need to use regular packaging. Let's make it a little bit fun. 
So you can take muffin tins. I literally have this sitting under, you know, in my kitchen. Smart. Take a muffin tin. I bought this little mini one at the dollar store for the kids. Adorable. How great is that? And then don't be afraid to be adventurous with your condiments. Guacamole, fresh herbs, salsa, kimchi, sauerkraut. I mean, getting outside of the box of the regular ketchup and mustard. But that is actually a Dijon mustard you have there, so they're that the healthy toppings. Healthy toppings. Cheers to clean. that. For more information, Yay. everybody, naturallysavvy.com. You are so naturally savvy. Well, thank you, Dina. Andrea Donsky, <laughs> cheers to that. We'll be cheers back everybody. with more tea right after this. It's delicious. So good, right? What do you think? Oh, no.